Hello, everybody. I left my phone close to my microphone. Whoops. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Zuma Chronicles. Last time we left off, we just got to fu fr <laughs> Frontier Village. I know how to speak. But we're not going to be spending a lot of time in Frontier Village because there's a lot of side quests. And there's also some story stuff we can do. But, and most importantly, because we got the fossil monkey, finally, right. we can now give people more housing in Colony 6. There you go, Juju. People got more houses. And we're starting to expand into the main street now, finally. Housing level is increased by one. We built five houses. Nice! So, Juju, what else do you need? You need, oh my sweet baby butter balls. Oil branch? I, oh, I think I know where that is. That's, uh, <laughs> that ain't gonna happen until later. Empress speed. Okay, so we just need the Empress speed for that. We need a couple other things, and yeah, we should be fine. So, let's go over here, get what we need from here. Forget me not. Forget you not. And light ladybug. I think both of those were from the Bionis leg. Well, it doesn't freaking matter. Uh, so, oh right, we have stuff to collect in Frontier Village. Frick, I forgot about that. Uh, we're not done back to forest, obviously, and we're still not done with uh, Satoral Marsh because we're missing one thing in Satoral Marsh, but that'd be done anytime. Each of mine is missing one thing, and everything else we got, everything in. Also, uh, oh yeah, Melia, we got that stuff. We need nine more points for this to max out. And then that, and then we're gonna move Shulk back to freaking God knows what. Uh, Dunban, you learned something new. You learned the tension boost, okay? Charla, you learned agility up. And Ryan, you're 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 doing stuff, buddy. Uh, next up is I forgot entirely what the crap I was gonna do today. Uh, dip, 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 dip. well, I guess we're going back to Frontier Village regardless. So back to Frontier Village, yay! Sacred Altar. So we could go talk to Melia right off the bat, or we could go get side quests. Stupid Terra Oglia is trampled all over me. But just because I'm small, don't uh, just, just an apology. I forget if bullshit or what. So just because giant things stepped on you, we gotta go kill them? Well, I mean, that seems pretty normal, anyways. Alright. And you're just straight up a quest giver for monsters, correct? Yep. Okay, you're you're monotonous and bullcrap. Apparently, you, get, you have really funny dialogue, but if you're just a generic quest uh, for monsters, I'm not gonna care. Do you have anything important? Uh. Oh, these are things that we're not going to be able to see until a bit later, so never mind. That's not important. Okay, not one villager. What pollen lands mean uh, pollen dust uh, face? You got a face. Okay, you want a mask. Okay, we gotta go kill those to get masks for you. That's fine. So, Frontier Village, uh, oh yeah, I was gonna bring this up. Uh, so, fun, fun fact about Frontier Village. Frontier Village is actually my des my desktop, uh, my, uh, desktop, uh, uh, image. And it has been for a very freaking long time because Nintendo hasn't given out a desktop image that I liked outside of... I mean, I, I think my phone is, like, the only thing that has, has like, a usually, like, a, I flip-flop between a couple things. Because right now, my I'm, I'm literally pulling out my phone to, to tell you guys this. Uh, my phone right now has, as the lock screen, it has uh, the Galar map. And let me just get this done real fast. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm telling you on an app came up. 
So it's the gallery map in uh, the lock screen, and then as my home screen, I have uh, Monster Hunter Rise as my uh, thing. So yeah, I mean, I'm gonna probably eventually swap out from Frontier Village being my desktop, but it's so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty, and I feel so bad because, like, nothing Nintendo put on their website for, like, the platinum coins or whatever. I subbed. Actually, I, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna shut that after this recording. Uh, on the My Nintendo thing. Like, none of it's been as cool as Back the Forest or Frontier Village, so I'm like, well, I mean, I like Xenoblade, so this is cool. I mean, they probably updated, like, since, but, like, most of their stuff right now, or at least on the the online uh, app on your Switch, is like, hey, here's some Super Mario Odyssey stuff and Animal Crossing stuff, and it's like, cool, I like both, but... It's not necessarily worth it. Because, <laughs> like, generally out of all the sets of Mario stuff that, like, it gets rotated every week, I only really pick, like, five or six things just to, like, have as, like, maybe later down the line I'm gonna use that as, like, an icon for my, uh, my Switch profile. Which, like, generally I would never, like, stop, re or stop recording or, like, go into the home menu for the recording purposes for this, but for this I'm going to. My, uh, my, uh, freaking icon, well, yeah, well, I'm not gonna bleep that out. <laughs> Please note, if you try to add me, and if you don't contact me prior, I will probably ignore your friend request. Uh, yeah, it's just the, it's, uh, Mario in a tux. A, 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 a tux and whatnot, a dress shirt and all that. And Cappy being, uh, a dress hat. So, like, eh. Also, since we're already goofing off right now, eh, Minecraft. <laughs> I have not played Minecraft Dungeons since the free trial. And I can say right now, I might never pick up that game again because unless I'm playing online, it isn't really fun. You know, my opinions. Other people who are like, but I love Minecraft and I think that game's great. Well good for damn you. I'm not in that I'm not in that camp. Uh did we literally just get everything for Frontier Village? Empress Beetle! Yes! Okay, so this is what we need. We need that for, yeah, Colony 6. So we get Empress Beetles from here. Uh, I guess in that case, we'll just kind of go around and collect Empress Beetles because we need that. And I think that's for the current set of things right now. Yeah, we need three of them for nature. Which, to be fair, yeah, that can be done pretty fast. I don't think Empress Beetles are super rare, but they're rare enough where it's like, yeah, you should probably keep an eye out for them. I mean, he dreamt about Ichium's uh, Opalus in... Oh, really? Uh, sure, you're just a generic bounty hunt, so I don't mind. Hello? Yeah. You are a generic quest giver, so just give me the quest. Also, Frontier Village, just like every other town in the game, has some freaking badass music. You're probably thinking, well, like, it's super calm and relaxing. How can it be badass? Eh, it just is. Frontier Village, in general, is actually a really interesting place, too, because, uh, we'll get a side quest that talks about this a lot more in, like, I'll talk about, I'll, I'll talk about it in a lot more detail later. But, uh, Frontier Village is actually an entire village that does not use any machines. You know, you can look everywhere and I, you will not find a machine in the entire village. Not find pet towers. They literally just use the world around them, which is a very, um, I guess for like stand, like other standard uh, fantasy element kind of stuff, it's, it's very close to like elves and stuff. Which for those who don't know, I have a big affinity with because of uh, well, I mean, I say I have a big affinity with, but it's mostly with anime and whatnot. But, like, I've always had a big affinity with, like, forest and mushroom, or forest and, like, uh, woodland creatures and creatures in general. So, like, I kind of always enjoyed that, like, elven, el is that right, el elven styles and stuff? 
So like that's why I like um, a lot of like uh, older RPGs, uh, older RPGs in particular with uh, like elves. Uh, Final Fantasy, weirdly enough, Final Fantasy One, I, I think, or three, maybe three. Uh, like little fairies and stuff. Like I like that as like, oh, we don't believe in like airships and stuff. Like it's cool if you guys use it, but we personally do not believe in it. So we're gonna stick with our wings and other things. And then, you know, take breaks and then, like, listen to nature and always become, like, closer and closer to nature as, like, our society Im improves and whatnot. So, like, I mean, once again, like, it's just a very, like, I, here's the thing, I'm not generally down to earth for people who know me. I'm, I'm very, like, city boy <laughs> style. But, like, maybe, like, once in a while I'll be like, you know what, I kind of want to try, like, something like this and stuff. And I, I generally try stuff. But yeah, no, I, I grew up very much a, very much a city boy, so you take me out of a city and, like, put me in a freaking, um, <laughs> oh god, you put me in, like, a forest and told me, and tell me, like, okay, you have a week, we'll come back for you in a week, I will probably n not survive. <laughs> well, I mean, like, survival, in survival instincts and whatnot kick in, but it's a situation of, like, I will probably just be like, okay, cool. I go a nap for like 12 hours a day. <laughs> I just turn into a cat. <laughs> don't believe me? I, I've done dumber. I also don't know like what mushrooms are edible, what like berries are edible. I know like a couple of the major ones, but like even then, it'd be like, eh, what? I'm not very busy. I wasn't on the lot. I was not paying attention. Oh, that's for that quest. From the way back in Sectoral Marsh. Okay. Also, uh, I should probably talk about Frontier Village in general because I completely forgot about this. Uh, Frontier Village is a village that has, I believe, some new better equipment for us. Oh, well, yeah, that's gonna tell us something. Okay. Not on Oh, yeah, they got cannons. They don't really need to you They don't really need machine parts to make a, uh, like, a slingshot, like, um, thing. Okay, just buy one of each. I should probably start selling equipment because we're gonna have a lot of equipment that's just gonna be sitting in the background doing nothing for a bit. But, uh... Yeah, that's fine. Hey, we're already doing a uh, side quest. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a uh, main quest because I believe doing the main quest is going to give us something that I would want to try to do for a bit later, anyways. And plus, I believe these side quests do not expire. They do not expire. Okay. Uh, I will. I won't lie to you guys. Also, keep keep me track of side quests in this area in particular is kind of hard because there's several layers, and certain NPCs only go to like certain areas at certain times. Then it's always a freaking pain in the butt. Oh, hey, there's a location we're never gonna really know a whole lot about. And also, as you guys can tell, this being a giant freaking tree, there is a lot of locations, a lot of marks you guys gonna at least keep someone in track. And freaking, of course you do. Probably like a dodgeball at this point. Okay, adjustments. Never catch. Yay, side quest that we'll tackle later. Also, freaky do not a. Uh. Oh wait. Are these the knob on that give you the side quest I think they give you? Nope. Yeah. Hello. Uh, pollen words. Uh, material taken from yellow flowers. Uh, grab and destroy. Okay, big wooden crawlers. Please take care of it. Only at night. Lazy burklow? Burklow? Burklow. That's what I'm going with. Also, you're gonna definitely see in Frontier Village, uh, a lot of the side quests do not give you, uh, experience. Oh, 
Yeah, Charlotte didn't know that. She was the the lead uh, rescuer. Grab materials for secret Nalpon elixir. Okay. Hey, Dubman. Don't we have all that except the frog poison? Yeah, we totally do. Damn. Okay. Uh, can we go this way and still get stuff done? Yep. Quest completed. We got a little bit of experience. We got also a shiny ball. Okay, next up is right over there. Level 37 by just running around a freaking town. Uh, sure, we have those. There you go. Welcome. Is that all you wanted? That's all you wanted. Okay, we have to go over there, but I see side quests over here. Profit hut. Okay. Oh, really? Uh, sure. Are you gonna give us more? Nope, that's it. That's it. That's it. Well, time to go talk to Melia. Hello, Melia. Melia, you're welcome to come with us. Is it true? Were you alone in the forest? <laughs> that thing must be stopped by my hand. This is my pledge to those that have died. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt. And lies in rest. I Wounded did pour myself a new cup of water. Girl. Well, I need to do that for a second. Wounded by a girl. You don't mean you're going to fight the Telethia? <gasps> How do you know of the Telethia? When I went to collect the ether crystals, some Telethia attacked me. I managed to destroy them and get away. You defeated Telethia? Who, who are you? Some of a very big IQ sometimes. So that sword can. To tell the truth, they were the Telethia spawn. Someone told me the primary Telethia is healing somewhere in the forest. It was you, wasn't it? You hurt the Telethia. It. Melia. The Telethia escaped from our homeland, and I am tasked with killing it. It cannot remain free. For the sake of my people and the Nopon, it must be stopped. Melia. We can help you defeat it if you like. Out of pity? No. no. Why then? It's just... I, I want the experience. Want. Speak, Shulk. Or I shall be forced to summon the Nopon chief to interpret for me. I... would like to help. What could you possibly gain from aiding me? Experience? I saw it. At the top of a black tower. You and I were fighting together. Fighting that faced Mekon. I also saw you fighting a huge Telethia. It threw me the first time and all. Forgive me, Shulk, but what are you talking about? Shulk can see visions. visions of the future. See the future? And you expect me to believe this rubbish? Yes. Believe what you want, lady. Same as I tell all the non-believers. <laughs> That'll be me, then. Yes. Oh, yeah. In any case, the only reason we got this far was because of Shulk's visions. If Shulk says he saw you in a vision, then you must be important to whatever happens next. And if you're tough enough to fight a face Mekon, you're all right in my book. You've got my vote. A lady should not go unaccompanied onto the battlefield. Uh... Excuse me? I... I am quite capable of dispatching the beast alone. I require no assistance of any kind. Don't be... <laughs> Probably not the best thing to say. My dear... I apologize, but I could not help overhearing. Their offer sounds quite reasonable. The danger extends much further than our small dwelling. 
Machna itself is at risk. And okay. we shall provide you with the finest warrior of our clan. Ooh. Chief Dunga, I... Uh, no need for thanks. He is the equal, if not better, of the Hom Hom. You do know we're listening. The chosen Nopon hero will await you below. I shall go ahead and prepare him. Please excuse me. Uh, freezing? Nopon hero. Now this I have to see. Don't be like that. Let's meet him first. Okay, we got Melia back in the party. Gonna keep this team for a bit. Also, you wanna know the coolest thing about Frontier Village? Whee! <laughs> and the best part is, you survive every time. And to me, you hit the water. And if you don't hit the water well, then you're kind of dead. Get on the damn stairs, Shulk. Sing an altar. So, you guys ready to meet May the fan I favorite character? Herapon Ricky! Oh, Get off me! To you! Set it up! Bump it up! And. Spiked! You look a little KO'd, buddy. against the daddy version. No one blink for a second. Okay. Eyes wide open. And don't forget that Melia is our only chance of making it to Eret Sea. If anything happens to our guide, it's on our heads. The Telethia is our target, but don't forget about the person standing next to you. Dumbad's right. I am in your debt. My weaknesses are all too apparent. No worries, Melia. We all have a few. Oh, we all have a few. Has been informed of the Dino Beast, what you refer to as the Talethia. Be safe, my Hom Hom friends. Ricky's friends, listen to Ricky. The Dino Beast is big and scary. Friends, get ready. Friends, help Ricky get ready. You want us to get equipment for you? Ricky's friend, right? Hum hum clever. Friends meet Ricky when ready. Then, friends and Ricky leave together. Hey, you ready now. Furry footrest. Dino Beast is big and scary. Right, that'll come in handy. Is it just me, or did we suddenly become up on mercenaries? Not all that bad. Okay, so we're gonna go to the armor shop and the uh, weapon shop for Ricky. Ugh. Ricky doesn't even start with his own damn equipment. We got gloves. I want to buy something real fast from you, actually. 
Oh, we gotta actually go do the quest before we can uh, buy stuff for Ricky then. Uh, so fun fact about Ricky. And I mean, it's not exactly a fun fact. But Ricky is kind of a weird character out of the set that I actually really enjoy playing with. So, yep. Ricky will kill Dino Beast. Ricky re uh, need real good weapon. Good luck here upon Ricky. Uh, me support you. Me support you. I I can't do a good girl voice. I can't even do a good knob on voice. So what the hell are you expecting? I love Ricky's weapon. Come, new friends. Ricky's adventure begins. Ricky, you do know where the Teletia is, don't you? Of course, Ricky. No. Melly, Ricky, here you hurt Dino Beast. I did, but only a little. When Dino Beast hurt, Ricky know it go to place with ether crystals. Friends and Ricky go to place with crystals. Then we find Dino Beast. Chief, tell Ricky. Chief, always right. So you do know a thing or two about this monster. Guess we'll be searching for some ether crystals then. And Ryan, that's why you're going to stay in the back of the party and probably never see the little light of day. Ricky, why are you the Hereupon? Why? Because Chief Dunga chose Ricky. He chose you? So you weren't chosen from birth? Friend, wrong. Chief chose by instinct. <laughs> by instinct? Why, friend, surprised? Chief have sharp instinct. Chief be village seer. So that's how you became the Hereupon. Can't argue with that. But he is kind of... compact. For a warrior hero. Oh, Ricky owe lots of monies to village. If Ricky defeat Dino Beast, village promised to forget my debts. So Ricky like being Hereupon. So, it seems like the Nopon kind of do that as like a... Not really like a, a succession kind of thing, but more like a festival kind of thing, where it's like, who's gonna be like the hero or like, in, in like most Japanese culture or most cultures of Shintoism and stuff, like who's gonna be the shrine maiden who does like the dance at the end of the festival or the beginning of the festivals generally. So like, it doesn't really seem like it's a, like what we would call a hero, but this is also from an outsider looking in and also trying someone who's trying to overlook, well not overlook, but trying to... So he's trying to uh, look into this far too damn deeply than you think it is. So, Ricky skills are pretty much a mixed bag of everything. Where he heals the... Uh, where he can... Uh, dip. He can buff the party, uh, send debuffs out, uh, do a bit of physical damage, a bit of ether damage. So, Ricky's kind of the freelancer, I guess, out of all of them. But that's the other reason you'd be using Ricky. Ricky actually... Unlike some of the Han characters, and, you know, Han characters being, uh, Dunman, uh, Shulk, uh, Sharla, Ryan, and Melia? Ricky has the same, uh, core abilities, generally, as, uh, Ryan. So, that means, yep, you have an entirely new tank character. A tank character who's basically a jack-of-all-trades master of none. And with that being said, I'm going to have to set up Ricky for something that he's going to probably need a little bit more. Because if it's not very clear, let's get Ricky out for a second. Ricky takes up his entire portrait as, a, as uh, an active party member. And Ricky's only about the same size as, uh, yo, Dunban, you want to stop? Dunban? Dunban. Hey, you want to, you want to, <laughs> okay, let's use Sharla. Okay, so basically, uh, without the little uh, tuft of hair that Ricky has on his head, he's the equivalent height of a uh, Hobbs kneecap. So that's about. I mean, these guys look like they're about. Actually, well, I can check the. I can check the infinity charts for this. Uh. Let's use. Yeah, let's use Dudban because he's one of the taller ones. Uh, Dunban is about... I actually have a horrible time calculating all this properly, so I'm gonna pull up an internet thing real fast, so give me a hot second. Uh, you know what? I might not be able to use this on my computer. Well, I'm gonna have to try. Okay, 
Never mind, my computer messed it up. Uh, let's say Dudban is like seven, seven, eight, seven, eight inches, whatever. Seven feet, eight inches. Uh, that means Ricky is the equivalent of literally like not even half of a, a Hom character. So, uh, although I like using Ricky for a lot of special things, I'm going to actually change up the party quite a bit. I'm going to use Melia as uh, the next party member we're going to be using. And then we'll throw, actually, you know what? We'll throw out Dunban for a bit and get Ricky in here. I do want them to start gaining relationship points, so that's going to help us a lot in the long run. But, as we said, the main quest is to fight the, uh, the Telepia. We are not going after the Dino Beast. We are going to go after side quests and challenges. Mostly due to the fact that everyone is kind of on the lower level side of everything, and, uh, Dave for someone who's played this game a lot, or at least two or three times at this point, uh, the Telepia is no freaking joke. So, as we all usually go over, uh, Melia's swimming style is, I think, the butterfly? No, Ryan's butterfly. What is Melia's style? I actually forgot what her style is. Uh, that's... Breaststroke? Breaststroke. I thought it's breaststroke. Uh, Ricky, I can barely tell what Ricky's doing. I, I think Ricky just does a chicken move where he's just like, I, I weigh nothing, so I just float. Because that's how chickens work. Actually, what? Ah, oh, frick. I actually used to know the science behind that, how why chickens float. Isn't like their their mass and stuff doesn't equal enough their feathers, and the feathers basically act as a buoyant weight for them? Someone in the comments is going to make me look stupid, but that's fine. I, I honestly don't even know how the hell chickens float. Uh, so we need two more Empress Beetles. Uh, Beetles? What are they called again? To the Clatopedia, because I don't remember anything, apparently. Uh, Empress Beetles, yep. We need two more, then we're going to go back to Colony 6, and then we should probably think about tying up the video. Spice Nut! Everybody likes Spice Nut. Who, who wants to go out in the wild and go to a, a little village frontier like this and find a Spice Nut? Not Spice Girls, not anything, you know, remotely uh, relevant towards pop culture, just Spice Nut. I also can't believe I just made a Spice Girl joke. I don't even know any of their damn songs. I know, like, one of their popular songs, but that's because of social media. Okay, where's the other item warp? Rumble box. Hey, it's a it's a rumble box, so it uh, I I put that on the back of my controller. And I can feel my vibrations on the N64, right? Yep. The only reason I know that was because I, I know that entirely was well, because I was playing um weirdly enough I was playing uh, a Zelda. I was playing Ocarina of Time on the the NSO uh, N64 collection. I never realized it had proper rumble because my play my PlayStation this. My N64. I had a rumble pack to play Pokemon. I didn't, for some reason, didn't know that it worked with other games. So I never found like any of the secret, uh, secret grottos as a kid. Even though like I was the first out of I think all my friends that had an N64 to actually beat the damn game. But, I mean, you know, hey, no, no kid 100% of the game, right? Because that'd be absurd. Except I know several kids out there who stream and stuff in 100% games. But then again, I feel like I should call them out on that because, like, I usually see people do, like, Doom and stuff. And as much as I love to rip and tear demons apart with, with machine guns, shotguns, chainsaws, and whatnot, I feel like you gotta call the line somewhere. Hello. Oh. I read that as, uh, my brain, my eyes didn't read that properly. My brain went from me what? Two girlfriend, and I'm like, uh, probably should tell a random bunch of strangers that. <laughs> yeah, we already got you Frontier Village, so here you go. Have luck. Yeah, ha have luck there, buddy. I'm trying to not pawn myself, apparently. And with that, we've completed our quest with 3,000 experience points. And Melia is so close to leveling up. Melia, just put your freaking foot in the water or something, dude. 
do something that would be worth acknowledgement in this game. I also love, I just, <laughs> might as well just tell her to go skinny dipping at that point. I can't believe I just said that, so anyone who, uh, anyone who wants to give me a little crap for that, by all means. Polydor Blams, yep, Polydor Blams, Dark Village. You know what, I, I feel like, uh, like, an actual character like Melia would slap me in the face for also just saying that out loud. But, eh. If you like Melia, I, I definitely see the appeal. Okay, Mata Forest, we'll get that done. Okay, do we have anything else on this floor? Nope. So, if it also isn't, like, very apparently clear, I freaking love Frontier Village, Back in the Forest in general. Like, it really does remind me of, like, going into a... Uh, like, a uh, North American slash, like, uh, European forest, because, like, you know, even though, uh, Ryan and stuff and everyone else, like, the, the geological sense of this is more like, uh, equator a situation, it's still a situation of, like, just take up the beauty of nature at times, and, like, I know some people be like, oh, that, that's stupid, why would you want to take the beauty of nature, considering, you know, nature is kind of boring. There's sometimes nature is just kind of so it, it was surprised most people. So I definitely I learned something um, when I was visiting my grandma like forever ago. Uh, I, when I actually the first time and only time I went to Poland, uh, I went like in a river because like my, my mom was like, "Hey, like go in the river, see if you can find like a, a a pretty rock or whatever." So I go in, I find a rock or what I thought was a rock. I pull it out, I show it to my mom. I found a mollusk. So, I mean, like, I just didn't expect to find it in a river. So, like, my mom was like, oh, that's like a mussel or whatever. So, I'm like, oh, cool. Like, we, we eat this stuff, right? So, like, we took it back to my uncle. And my uncle was like, yeah, eat this. Like, I have a hammer and stuff. Like, I'll just smash it open and we'll, like, we'll fry it up. Uh, fun fact is, we never had it. <laughs> I think we threw it back the next day just because it was like, eh, we're not going to use it or anything. So, uh, that's my fun little story about, uh, nature. I think I, I don't think I've ever told that story now that I think about it. That that might be a new story for the internet in total from you guys. Um so yeah, I don't really have much to talk about besides the fact that I just might have told a story I've never told uh in any other circumstances. So we also found out, uh through Ricky, thank thankfully I could go back to this uh, topic a little bit. Uh, this is the first time that we are seeing a, uh, village that has a seer. Yep, Colony 9, Colony 6, they don't believe in visions and stuff, or, like, prophecies and stuff, so, that's why there's no seers. So, uh, fun fact, I'm pretty sure, and I, I know someone's gonna say, like, there's a pop dance game you played before this, well before this, even, that, uh, had a seer in it. This is the first time I think I've ever played an RPG that had the word Seer in it. I looked it up, and then, like, a month after I looked it up, I saw an anime slash, like, cartoon about Seers and stuff, because I, I was watching, uh... What was I watching? I think I was watching, uh... Avatar, Last Airbender. Yeah, I was watching it with my, with my folks, and, uh... Like, the word Seer came, uh, came up, and, like... I think my mom said something about it or whatever, and she was like, oh yeah, that means this. And I'm like, uh, not really, it means this, generally. So yeah, I, I told my, uh, I told, I told my parents something they didn't know. Or, I mean, they probably thought they knew it, but they didn't have an actual other definition for it. So I, I gave them the definition. I gave them a definition, sorry, I mumbled, I mumbled on that part. So, uh, yeah, always fun to talk about little little nuances like that because there's always something new to learn that honestly <laughs> scared the crap out of me <laughs> i was like oh i missed that i missed that by like a mile <laughs> nope we did it we got more cycle oh freaking you oh freaking you <laughs> ricky's scared big problem too difficult for ricky to <laughs> no consult Oh yeah, Ricky, I forgot your dialogue sometimes, it's weird. Even though you're a friggin' Nop-On. 
Okay. Left behind strange voice. Under house. Oh, we'll do this later. So, um, yeah, I should, I feel like I should also clarify this, uh, because a lot of people don't seem to understand this. The Nopon fur, and it's fur, it's not hair, uh, their fur does not dictate their gender. And I, I, I've seen some people, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming, bleh, if I stop stuttering, I'm assuming they're newer players to the, to Xenoblade in general. Nopon, uh, very rarely does their uh, fur dictate what uh, gender or what sex they are, because Nopon, for some reason, uh, like it's mostly how they dress. Like uh, you can tell Ricky's a guy because he's honestly wearing pretty much next to nothing. Cause like uh, over here, I think I think this chick, uh, oh this this Nopon isn't. Are you a female? Whatever, we'll, we'll talk about like more of like a Nopon style and stuff like later on. And probably not even in this game in all honesty, because there are Nopon and... I mean, okay, the Nopon are basically like the... Uh... I... I almost said the Goombas of uh, the Xenoblade series, but that's A, wrong, because they're not enemies, and B, it's uh... They're, they're more like uh... They're, they're a subspecies, or not subspecies, they're a proper species, me. A species that comes up numerous times in the Xenoblade games. I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it is not just Xenoblade. I think there is a reference. I'm going based off what I heard, and, like, you know, word, word from mouth could be wrong sometimes, and it more, more or less probably is. Apparently, I'm not saying this is fact or not, uh, so, sorry, supposedly, supposedly is what you use when you're unsure about things. Uh, supposedly there were references, or at least the base idea of Nopon, back in, uh, Xenogears. Now, I've never played a Xenogear game, so I can't vouch for anything, but if that's the case, that's pretty freaking cool. Uh, so yeah, we're just going around Frontier Village, doing some of the side quests, and then we'll probably call it an episode as soon as we go back to Call 89 and fix up the one thing we can fix up now. Oh yeah, that also brings up a very, uh, a very interesting topic, because, like, I want to actually know, like, uh, like, different races and, like, how you guys, uh, feel about them, especially for, like, uh, RPG fans in particular, like, I, I can still say, like, to a degree, like, like, uh, Earth Defense Force people could still vouch this one, too, but, like, uh, I'm, like, I've played a lot of Final Fantasy games, so let's go based off Final Fantasy and what, and what I know of, or what I could at least pretend I know of. Uh, what is your favorite race of, uh, uh, characters outside of, like, the vanilla humans? Or do you have a favorite race, or do you just... Don't, or do you think it's a, a waste of an idea where, like, maybe it's, just a, it's a human with bunny ears in the case of Final Fantasy XII or Final Fantasy Tactics? Now, I mean, personally, I feel like that's eh, but like, uh, as someone's played Final Fantasy XII, yeah, their, their race is pretty cool. So, Final Fantasy or any kind of RPGs out there at, at all, because, like, uh, I think Golden Sun, Golden Sun is actually one of the few games I hear people talk about. That actually have a sub, uh, a, a different race outside of humans in it. So, yeah, I'm just kind of curious how you guys feel about RPGs. And also the idea of, like, bringing new races and stuff in, uh, into conversations like this. I, I know it feels like a very, like, pointed question where it's like, well, if you don't appreciate it, well, then why are you playing the game or whatever? I'm not trying to, like, in, uh, I'm not trying to provoke that. And I do have a very good mod team on, uh, on, uh, like, uh, stuff I use. So if you guys talk, start talking crap to other people, start pe people start feeling threatened, uh, we'll take action. <laughs> I'll, I'll take action mostly, but, uh, yeah. Just curious what you guys feel and how you guys think. Yes, no. Oh yeah, you're definitely a girl. I've heard that voice. Also, the yes, no, they say are so, it's so freaking cute. Gotta dumb down for Ricky. 
Okay, I must get a sweet smell. I mean, this one isn't timed or whatever, so we can do this regardless of wherever the hell we are. But, I mean, since we're just kind of like right around Colony, or Frontier Village, not Colony. We're not in a colony. Uh, so we're just running around. Yeah, let's just try to get some stuff done. And once again, like, I really do, I really hope you guys uh, enjoy this LP. And also, pick up the game yourself. Like, it, if you have money or if you have the time even, uh, if you have a friend who can like, just lend you the game for a bit, like, uh, pick up Xenoblade, try some tactics, try stuff that I haven't tried out, or, you know, try some new ways of playing the game, because I definitely know, as someone who's played a lot of RPGs and just games in general, and do challenge runs, mostly, uh, I definitely learned how to play games a little bit differently than most people, and I'm actually very curious if, like, there's a more efficient way of, uh, fighting a monster than, our, than our, that I've already fought, or maybe there's a better way of doing, uh, a side quest. Oh, granted, I know there's better ways of doing side quests. I'm doing a very poor job of side quests. But, um, yeah, I'm just curious how you guys, uh, if you guys ever want to just, you know, send me, like, uh, video responses and stuff. Because I am usually, well, it's not even usual. I, I've never got a video response to anything. Uh, does YouTube still even do that now that I realize that? I think YouTube still does video responses as a way of commenting. But yeah, no, like, I'm so down learning stuff. I'm so down, like, uh, taking information. Because I know for a fact, um, this is talking about just uh, a commenter back in Final Fantasy XII, and I, I think he's still watching my stuff. All right, I hope, <coughs> excuse me. I hope he's still watching my stuff because he's actually been um, a whelp of a, a whelp, uh, a faucet of information for me uh, when I play Final Fantasy XII. So I mean, like, I'm usually down to like learn new stuff or talk to new people. Like, if you guys want to leave a comment, leave a comment. I'll. Well, I mean, I don't usually get comments. I, I'll reply to most whatever I see. And if I don't see one by some unforeseeable reason, I'll, I'll try to get back to people who I haven't got back to. So, not you. Oh, maybe it was you. Your cherries? Yeah, sure, we got, we got four of them. Got a lot of money from that, damn. Okay, so is that it? That seems to be it. Okay. So once again, we're gonna warp back to Colony 6. <laughs> About freaking time. We're gonna warp back to Colony 6, uh, train, our, uh, train our stuff, and then we'll start working on uh, the other things we'll need for Colony 6. Uh, Recolonization re re and stuff. And probably we'll, we'll have some new side quests, because I think there's side quests that show up like periodically, pre periodically as you uh, level stuff up. Black chip. What the hell is a black chip? Sure, JJ, let's do it. We got a flower bed. Holy crap, we got a flower bed. I'm sorry, flower beds are freaking amazing. Like, um, oh god, this is a, this is a. I I don't live close to this, but um, there's a part in Toronto that does like a flower bed, like uh, to like show the Canadian flag and stuff, or. Like, do a bunch of other stuff like that. And it's so cool. Every freaking time I see it, I'm just like, yep. That's, like, one of the few things that I could say, you know what? <laughs> send this to, like, send this to Twitter or something. Uh, I haven't been in that part of the area for a while now, though. But, like, I feel, I feel like next time I'm there, I'm probably going to snap a picture and send it to Twitter. And, like, granted, yeah, it's kind of, like, egotistical situations because I, uh, obviously live in Canada and it's a very, like, Canadian-oriented thing. It's still just a cool, like, art thing. Hey, yeah, Floron's here now. Cool. Ah, uh, Colony 6. How we will probably never be done you until the... Probably the final episode of the LP or something. It takes a lot of time. It really does. Uh, next up is, we'll just teleport to, oh yeah, this entire, uh, gray spots here are areas that you never swim in. So, I'm gonna say that right now, uh, there's gonna be another part of the game where I'm gonna swim around a lot, I do that off camera. Anytime I have to do a crazy amount of swimming, I'm gonna do it off camera. Okay, crazy, crazy amount of swimming that doesn't lead up to a side quest or something special. I should clarify that out of all things. So, uh, yeah, be warned. Oh, we can also finish, uh, the Glutzpedia for Frontier Village. 
Yay, we got strength up. We're doing the bugs. We get weapon power up. Excuse me, did I burp? I apologize for my burps. For doing a strange, we got agility up. Nice. Accomplished. We got a half blossom, half blossom striker, which is a weapon for Dunban. I don't think that is any better than what he has right now. If it is, I might throw Dun. Whoops. Uh, equipment. I might throw Dunban into the party, but actually, that's significantly better. Holy crap. Okay, well, Dunban, we were making you kind of a, a fast character, so we'll give you your speed ups. Haste, double attack, break, auto stealth. I guess for now it's gonna be strength up, because there's nothing really better to give you. So yeah, I'll, always keep that in mind that, uh, like, keep, keep uh, prime numbers up to date. Ash Fox. Plasma Dino. Hello. Lucky Sevens. Oh, that's a. Oh, yeah, that's a Chivo for, uh. Getting, uh. 7,000. Or. 7,000. 7,777 uh, damage. Magic Stone. Okay. And we did it! We completed a side quest that I completely forgot we had. Okay, next up was, if we're just gathering cap mushrooms or whatever. So yeah, for those who are like, you know, hey, you can get done, uh, like, Frontier Village really uh, early. Yep, you guys have never seen LP done by me then. I think that's a bad thing, because, like, a lot of people seem to really enjoy my LP styles, but my LP style... But it's still a situation of like, yeah, even some people who watch me for a long time get really stunned or shocked by what order I do things in. It's like, I, I change it up every so often. I don't know. Okay, we need to get four more. We're gonna have to hunt the, uh, the frogs here soon enough. Oh, we're not gonna win. They're at level 30 and we're level 37 generally. Holy crap. Uh, is that an item? That's an item. Or is that... Nope, that's you. We'll take you on later. Uh, what was I talking about besides LP style? Oh yeah, I was just talking about LP styles. Also, yeah, Ricky in this tiny little area has to swim. <laughs> Everyone else walks. Uh, LP style. I was talking about something about LP style and I completely forgot what I was talking about entirely. Great. Uh, but da but Yeah, I, I, I switch stuff up for so often. And I can say right now, I'm definitely going to be doing an LP that not a lot of people expect it to be a smaller LP, but it's going to be an LP soon enough anyways. Uh, I mean, I'm also just kind of running out of crap to talk about, just because... I mean, we're just going around collecting stuff and trying to do a side quest. It's, there's not a whole lot to this. But I mean, our, our, once again, like going back to the fact that you guys should try this game... I really do feel like, the, like, there's, that Xenoblade has something to offer every kind of skill level. And, like, granted, I feel like if you are going to play Xenoblade, I would highly recommend you be at least, uh, moderate? Uh, not moderate, uh, like, oh, yeah, I guess, like, beginner, moderate, and then expert or whatever, but we'll go based off, like, uh, <laughs> street, fi street Fighter ranks or whatever crap they are. Uh, I would recommend generally being pretty used to action RPGs, but like even a beginner to an RPG, well, action RPG at least, a beginner to an action RPG could definitely see like what to do because like obviously I keep it on like the most van vanilla mo modes ever where it's like you guys can see the HUD, you guys can see this, you guys can see like uh, if I do that, you can zoom in and all that crap. So I mean like it. Yeah, I keep it on, but A, for myself, because I'm lazy and I don't really care, and B, like, it, I just want to show it off to folks who are like, well, I jumped into the series, but I started with, like, part 95 or whatever, so it's like, well, then I, I, I lost what I was supposed to do. But, um, 
Yeah, I mean, like, I'm definitely, definitely interested to know, like, uh, actually, weirdly enough, uh, one of my friends in Europe, uh, I was talking to them, like, not too long ago, uh, they actually said, before Zingaway Chronicles 3 comes out, which, if they get this done, good on them, because holy crap, I'm gonna probably help them very little, uh, they said before Zingaway Chronicles 3 comes out, they'll try to track down and play Zingaway Chronicles 1 and 2. And I think that's really, really impressive. Because, like, this this person I've obviously talked to for, like, a, uh, like a, I mean, a little less than a year, but still we've talked, like, pretty much consistently enough so that I got an idea of how they play stuff. They can totally do it. I'm going to definitely try to help when, like, it's like, oh, this is a monotonous ta task, so, like, here's how you make it easier or something. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm for sure excited to, like basically, like, step-by-step step help them with, uh, like, even if it's just, like, as simple as, like, setting up a quest or, uh, trying to do a quest from scratch. It's one of those, like, I guess, like, as a, as a content creator, I get joy out of it, but, like, A, they've been watching my LPs and whatnot, but, like, yeah, a lot of these LPs don't necessarily... I, I feel like this is also jipping me in some way, just for saying this, because, like, it's kind of more of a self-deprecation problem. But, like, I really feel like my LPs don't really show you guys how to play a game properly. It just kind of shows you guys, like, hey, this is the dumb things that I do while playing this game, and, like, you guys could beat it too if you guys don't play dumb like me or whatever. But, like, I guess I've also, I've had other comments, like, a, a, like even somewhat recently too. I've had comments saying, like, yo, like, this LP helped me get through, like, uh, this part of the game, and, like, thank you so much for, like, putting the time and effort to do, like, uh, to, to put it, uh, this, what am I trying to say here? Uh, putting the time and effort for an LP like this, because it does take a long time. And, like, I super, super appreciate stuff like that. And, like, even if the comment's, like, slightly negative, I'm kind of down for that, too, because I'm always curious, like, it's like, even if it's slightly negative, there's usually people who are like, oh, well, I mean, yeah, you did this, but, like, maybe you could think about, like, don't, don't phrase it like that, obviously, because that's a super negative way of phrasing that, but, like, it's, uh, you know, hey, I saw you, you struggled with this part, did you ever, uh, did you think about doing it like this, or something? And it's like, oh, that actually makes a lot more sense, like, thanks for telling me. And, like, I don't know why I talk about, like, <laughs> I'm talking about com uh, 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 comments etiquette when people are probably not watching this part of this far in the video. <laughs> but I mean, like, yeah, it's always a cool topic, and I, I love talking to this with, like, uh, fellow, like, content creators. In like, not, not even just Let's Players, like, content uh, creators in general, because, like, uh, for those that don't know, I actually have a uh, friend who does uh, music over on YouTube, and uh, I, I talk to them quite a lot. So yeah, it's really cool to like uh, like sit down and talk to people, talk to lies, or just like, chill out with people. Like, there's also a guy that we've been playing. Um, uh, what are we playing recently? I think we're playing 100 percent orange juice on uh, obviously on Steam. Uh, well, not obviously because you guys have heard about 100 percent orange juice. You guys want to know what's what's on? Uh, we're playing on Steam not so long ago. You know, just chill out. Like we're like, yeah, we haven't hung out in a while. Let's, let's hang out and play some games. And I'm like, sure. And uh. I was, just talk, I, was, I was just talking about, like, you know, a kind of, a kind of LP that I was kind of, like, nervous about. And he was like, dude, you're fine. Just do what you do normally. And it's like, yeah, but I want to try this. And then, like, that devolved into an entire, like, how to do an LP or, like, what I should attempt to do uh, for LPs. And that alone gave me, like, a lot of ideas. So, like, I really enjoyed, like, just making friends and having fellow, like, people who understand me, like, uh, talk to me, and, and we decide, like, certain things. So, yeah, um, actually, yeah, even one of my, uh, one of my artist friends, like, uh, I actually have a legit, uh, like, a fan artist, uh, that I talked to. Yeah, we were talking about, um, I think we were talking, weirdly really enough, about, uh, uh, Breath of the Wild, like, it just randomly came up a conversation, so I'm like, okay, cool, like, I, I played Breath of the Wild, and I've, I, well, I mean, I've 100%ed it for my experience, but, like, I, I know I'm missing, like, one thing in particular. It's, it's not even a, it's not even a freaking, uh, shrine, like, I have all the shrines, I believe, 
Uh, but I was, uh, it was a, it was a side, yeah, a side mission that I never did, and they, uh, yeah, they brought it up, and I'm like, oh, like, I feel really stupid, that's how you do that. And then, like, uh, yeah, it was just a conversation of, once again, like, effectively just two friends chilling out. I feel actually kind of jerkish for bringing that up, because I know a lot of, I know a lot of people, like, especially some of my, uh, some of my more recent friends that I've talked to on, uh, on social media, at least, and they're like, yeah, like, I don't really talk to a lot of people online just because, you know, I don't feel like I have enough to bring to a table situation. And I'm just like, that's never true. Like, even someone like me, who, like, freaks the crap out and, like, slurs his words constantly, I I always have stuff to bring up and, like, or just talk about. And like, you, like talking to that person, like I was like, no, you you brought this and this and this. So like, no, you're doing like a great job, like keeping me engaged, keeping most people engaged. Who you talk to, so yeah, just fun little stories about that, I guess, because I guess I'm in storyteller mode opposed to I I need to be uh, commentating to help you guys play this game or help me just doing this stuff in general. But I mean, to be fair, I'm just going around collecting materials. You guys can see what I'm doing right now. And with that, we are done this side quest, so we gotta go back to Frontier Village. So let us warp back to Frontier Village and go to the Sacred Tron. Or Sacred Altar, rather. So yeah, we're gonna. Blah, 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 blah. We're never gonna spend a lot of time in Magma Forest because that's where most of these side quests are gonna come up, anyways. You know. Hello. I found you the mushrooms you wanted. Oh, excuse me. I just burped. A big burp. Oh. You want us to, like, ground that up for you, buddy? You want us to mush that up? Because, like, I... You're probably looking really old then. I, I actually feel kind of bad for you. I also kind of believe that's what happens when you don't have a dental care... Uh, a, a dental care situation in, in your village. But then again, it, given what the homes look like, I don't think they got dental care either. Bitter kiwi and walnut grapes, okay. Yeah, sure, I could totally find some of those. Okay. Uh, okay. I think we're going to want the bitter key. No, we're going to want the. Ah, frick, I don't remember what we're going to want. I think the goal for that one is to get the grape walnuts. Or I'll go for the, the kiwis just because they're there. Okay. Uh, we also have a quest that we can solve from down there. Ta-ta! Okay. Okay, so... With that being said, what's up the next quest? Happy Bunny. Oh, frick. Uh, well, that's not the quest we're going to be doing next, then. There is one I want to do. Where the crap is it? I want to set it up before I end the video. Where the <laughs> where the hell is it? Oh my freaking poop! Poop lord, more poop! Where the crap are you? There we go. I was like, uh, why are you not showing up? 
<laughs> okay, we'll go back to Cole and I and get that done. And we'll actually, uh, I think we're strong enough to take on a unique monster at Colony 9. Yep, there's a unique monster, but we, we did not take on Colony 9 yet. So, uh, just double checking. Oh, yeah, we're definitely strong enough. I'll see you guys later.